Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host. I'm rolling solo dolo on this San Francisco 49ers rebuild. So basically, if you watched my last video, I did week one of this team, the default team, which I'm now flipping through. You'll see the, the roster. And I did fucking terrible. I uh, lost the game 24-3. to I threw five interceptions. The team, as you can see, is just not very good. So what this video is going to be is I'm just going to be simming the rest of the season, uh, doing uh, little clips at the end of the games for the scores, etc., and then if it gets close to the end of the season and they need a win to make the playoffs or something like that, I may play week 15, week 16, week 17, etc. just to see where they're at. So basically, um, I'm just going to go through the, the roster here. You can kind of see <clears throat> what the team has in it. And then it will jump right into week by week to see how this team progresses. And then after the end of the season, if uh, there is no playoff, then I will just jump in to the season two, season one review video that I've done for my Browns rebuild. I'll do my off season, go back into week one, et cetera, and uh, probably do a couple seasons with teams like this, depending how this goes. Just something new I'm trying out. So leave in the comments below what you think. Uh, look at my other rebuild, the Cleveland Browns, to see what you think about that. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it, and we'll jump off and start with week Two. We will be right back. Okay, everybody. Week two turned out way better than I could play. Ended up beating the Lions 34 to 13. So right now, after two weeks, we are one and one. Had a nice passing day, 280 yards, and running 144 yards and two takeaways. So we will go ahead and jump on in to week three here in just a second. Okay, and as we transition into week three, the 49ers have won again. They actually won at the very end of the fourth quarter after being down to improve their record to two and one. Now the only loss, of course, is the game I played week one. This week, nowhere, uh, the, the Chiefs, I'm not sure how they ended up losing, probably due to those takeaways. We had 237 yards passing, 110 rushing yards, and two turnovers. So on the day, we can go ahead and check out the stats real quick for the 49ers. Uh, Garoppolo's 19-37, 237, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. McKinnon had 92 yards on 20 carries. And receiving, nobody really stood out there. And all right, guys, we will go ahead and maneuver into week three. I'm sorry, week four. Okay, now in week four at San Diego, these 49ers are making me look bad as a player for losing so bad in week one. So they won 27 to 13. They were up the majority of the game. Uh, not too bad of a play again. Uh, 318 passing yards, 111 rushing yards, and one takeaway. So we'll go ahead and jump in. We are on a three-game winning streak as of now. We'll go ahead and jump in and see the stats before we jump in to week five. So Garoppolo here was 28 of 45, 318 yards and a touchdown. Rushing, McKinnon had 90 yards on 21 carries. And receiving, uh, we did have a 100-yard receiver. Pierre, Gar Pierre Garcon, or the Garkin, as I like to call him, had 124 yards. So, all right, we'll see if we can make it four in a row here coming up in week five. All right, everybody, and in week five, the 49ers continue to make me look bad as a week one player. Have won 48-23 to home against the Cardinals. They pretty much were dominant the entire game. Uh, 345 passing yards, 93 rushing yards, and four takeaways. You have four takeaways. How do you not win by that many points? So we'll go ahead and jump in here and check out some stats. We are now four in a row, four and one. The only loss is the game I played week one. So go figure. Uh, right now, 31 of 42, 345, and four touchdowns for Jimmy Garoppolo today. Rushing McKinnon. 75 yards on 20 carries and a touchdown. 
and receiving two 100-yard receivers. We had Marquise Goodwin and Trent Taylor. So we will go ahead and see if we can keep this winning streak rolling in week six. And in week seven, I'm sorry, week six, we have finally took our second L of the season to the Green Bay Packers in Green Bay. We fell to a score of 31 to 21. So that is now the first loss since I lost week one to bring our record to four and two. And we are going to go ahead and check out the stats here for a second. It was, uh, we, we were pretty much beat everywhere. We didn't have any takeaways. They just held us up. It was actually a pretty even game. Uh, so we'll go ahead and see how each, how uh, the 49ers fared against these Packers here. Uh, Garoppolo didn't have the best day, but he didn't have a bad day. I mean, actually pretty good day. 25 of 40, 263 and three touchdowns. Rushing, they held McKinnon to only 41 yards on 13 carries. Receiving, we didn't have a 100-yard rusher today, or sorry, 100-yard receiver today. But let's go ahead and see if we can keep this going and improve our record to 5-2 and two next week. Okay, and week 7 did not turn out too well. We hosted the 5-1 and one Rams at home and lost 18-16. to 16. They uh, were ahead into the fourth quarter and lost at pretty close to the end of the game. So that makes our record drop to 4-3. and three. And once again, the Rams were ahead of us in every part of this uh, game. So we will go ahead and show you the stats real quick before we move on to Week 8. And hopefully we do not fall to 500. I do feel less bad about losing that first game now that some things have happened. So 24-45, 278, and one touchdown and one interception. Rushing, we had McKinnon, who was, for the second straight game, been held to a lowly 34 yards on 13 carries. And then receiving, we did have a 100-yard receiver, the Garkin, with one touchdown. So we'll go and come back next week on Week 8. Hopefully, we can improve. Okay, and after eight weeks of the season, the 49ers are 5-3. and three. They came into Arizona and beat the Cardinals. So now, running into the second half of the season, they're two games above 500. They did. They actually were outplayed today and still ended up with the win with no takeaways. I'm not sure how that happened. I mean, barely outplayed, but we were outplayed. So we'll jump in here and check out and see how the performances went today before we move into the second half of the season. So Garoppolo was uh, 24 of 40, three touchdowns, 263 yards. McKinnon still hasn't come close to eclipsing, eclipsing 100 yards lately at 60 yards on 15 carries. Receiving, no one had a 100-yard game today, but the Garkin was the closest. So go ahead and keep watching. We'll get into week nine and see how the second half of the 49ers season turns out. Okay, everyone, we got week nine here. We are in San Francisco playing the Raiders. So I'm going to go ahead and kick this up to fast and see what happens in the game. So it's almost the end of the first quarter. We finally got our first seven points. Oakland comes back and quickly scores twice before the end of the second quarter. Three times to go up 21 to four times to go up 28 to seven. So now the 49ers have a long way to come back. 28 to 13 going into the fourth. Oakland is up 34 to 13 with two minutes left. Doesn't look like it's going to get it done today. So the final score on this one is 37 to 13. So the 49ers lost at home to the Raiders. We've now fallen to five and four after nine weeks. Looks like Derek Carr's player of the game with 317 yards and four touchdowns. So he did a big ass part in all of this. So as you can see, they didn't really have a chance from the start of the game. So we all we could do is put our heads down in shame and hopefully next week we don't lose nearly as bad so as you can see they were blown out in every category this week nothing to write home about we'll go ahead and check out the team stats real quick before we run into week 10 so as you can see here garoppolo 20 of 41 222 yards two touchdowns and one interception 
McKinnon has not been able to get anything going after the first couple weeks. Only 40, rush, 40 rushing yards on 13 carries. Receiving, Goodwin did get a 100-yard game in today with two TDs, so he was the only bright spot in a meek offense. So let's go ahead and hang out here till week 10 and see if we can get on the right track. Okay, everybody, here we are in week 10 hosting the New York Giants in San Francisco. We're going to go ahead and try to stay above 500 here in week 10 and see if we can pull this game out. So here we are closing in. Giants are up 7 nothing, And at the end of the second, uh, we tied it up. Tied it up at 10 apiece here running into halftime. Giants jump up to an early lead, 17-10. to 10. And then we, ooh, we were only able to get a field goal down by four. Oh, we pulled up the touchdown in the fourth quarter. And now we are pulling away in the end here. Unless the Giants can do it. And they, at the last second, come down and pull off the win 31-30. to How about a demoralizing loss to even the 49ers record here at Five and five. Looks like Eli Manning was player of the game with 319 yards and three touchdowns. So as you can see, everyone on the 49ers team looks pretty sad. It's a shame that the uh, Giants came back and pulled that off there at the last second. So we are now five and five. We have seven weeks left in the season, including a bye week, to see if we can make the playoffs. It, as I said, as it gets closer to the end of the year, if it gets down to where maybe the last two weeks I need to try to play the games to win, I may try to do that so that way we can make sure we make the playoffs. So as you can see, we finally had over 100 yards rushing again, but the Giants you know, had more passing and ultimately more points, and, that, and that's what was the downfall this week in San Francisco. So let's go and take a quick look at the 49ers stats today. We had Garoppolo, 26 of 35, 246, and two touchdowns. Rushing, McKinnon finally over 100 yards, but did not get a W for us. So that is not effective. Receiving, look at that display. I mean, passed the ball around to many people, but no one was anywhere close to 100 yards. So can the 49ers pull above 500? We'll see here in week 11. Okay, here we are in week 12. Last week, week 11, was the bye week here in Tampa Bay. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up and see how we do here in week 12. So here almost at the end of the first quarter, we are down 3-0. Heading towards halftime, we finally tied it up at 3. And Tampa Bay pulled away, ooh, 17-3 to at the beginning of the third. 24-3 to to 10 it doesn't look very good folks it looks like the 49ers are going to fall once again under 500 now the final score is 27 to 17 so after a great start of four and one it has been downhill since then we are now one in five in our last six games player of the game Jameis winston 298 and three touchdowns so hopefully next week we can pull back to 500 in week 13. But let's go ahead and see how the teams matched up here at the end of the game. All right. So it looks like we were beaten in every category today. No wonder we came out with the L. And on top of that, we had two turnovers. So let's go ahead and see the individual performances real quick before we move on to week 13. We had uh, Garoppolo here with uh, 19-36, 215, two touchdowns, two picks. He had the two turnovers. Rushing, meager 56 yards from Jarek McKinnon. And receiving, no one even close to 100 yards. The Garkin with the closest effort. All right, we'll see if we can turn things around next week in week 13. Okay, here we are in week 13 uh, in Seattle versus the Seahawks. We are 5 and 6, so let's see if we can even it out to 500. So, ooh, Seattle jumps out to an early lead, and at the end of the first, looks like we're tied. Going into halftime, we are tied still, and it's now halftime. So we're up by 3 going into the third quarter. So can we hold this lead to win and even ourselves out to 500? Oh, up to 24 to 14, 24 to 21. Now we're down by 4, 28. Well, we finally tied it up. It's overtime. And the 
And the fucking Seahawks pulled out the OT win. So we were up 34-31 to 31 in overtime, and then they came back and scored a touchdown. Real heartbreaker here for the 49ers to fall to 5-7, and seven, which is really heartbreaking because we started out 4-1. and one. So there you go. Final in overtime, 37-34. to 34. It looks like we are on the route to not make the playoffs this season. So, and look at today. Wow, we... I mean, they beat us in every category. We had five takeaways and lost the game. So that is not the way that a, a quality team plays. So let's go ahead and check and see what our stats were for today real quick before we jump into the next week. Uh, all right. Grappolo was 35 of 57, 388, four touchdowns and one pick. Great game from him. McKinnon still can't get nothing going on the run, 52 yards. Receiving, we did have the Garkin with a 100-yard game and a touchdown. So, all right, so next week, let's see what we can do here on week 14. Okay, here we are in San Francisco on week 14, seeing if we can get closer back to 500, maybe squeak out a playoff spot. So we are playing the Denver Broncos. Let me go ahead and get it going. Here and as of right now, it's still we're up three nothing. Look about the end of the first. Uh, town ten nothing rolling into close to halftime. It is halftime and now we're up by thirteen. So it's looking pretty good so far. Oh, Denver come back with a touchdown at the end of the third. We're only up by six, and now we're up by twenty-one to seven, leading into two minutes left in the fourth. Oh my God, Denver has tied it. We're in overtime, and can we pull out the win? Oh my God, for two. <laughs> Two straight, actually three weeks in a row, we've lost the very end of the game. Two weeks in a row, we've lost in overtime. 49ers crumbling under the pressure. Case Keenum, player of the game, 375 and three touchdowns. And let's go ahead and see how, ooh, God, you were up by 17 going into the third quarter. And then, and or 13 going into the quarter and lost it. So that is not the way that a playoff team is looking. We did have more rushing yards at least, so that's a positive for us. So let me go ahead and check out here our stats for the game. And now at best we can be 8-8. Eight and eight. So it's very unlikely that we are going to make the playoffs. And I do not any longer feel bad about losing week one as bad as I lost it. Groplode had an okay game, 25 for 51, 291 touchdown, one interception. McKinnon finally over 100 yards again, but it was to not be effective really in any other way. And the Garkin with another 100-yard game here, but no touchdowns. So now we'll go here and get into week 15 and see if we can struggle to get back to 500 by the end of the season. Okay, and here we are in week 15 hosting the Seattle Seahawks with our 5-8 and eight record. We're going to see if we can pull back anywhere near eight and eight by the end of the year so we're closing in here at the end of the first we're down by seven we finally tied it up it's rolling a little closer to half time now we're up by 10 to 7 so hits in the third quarter we're now up 17 to 7 seattle's come back to bring it within three and we are gonna hopefully not blow this game at the end again up 20 to 14 and it looks like we finally have our sixth win of the season everybody so almost for not probably, but the, our record improves to six and eight with a score of twenty to fourteen in week fifteen, and maybe we can close out the year with two more wins and finish eight and eight. So it looks like that it is going to be a dreadful season here, but that's all right because we're going to come back with another season and uh, see if we can do a little better next year. Maybe if I can win the first game, start us out on a good foot. So, all right, we definitely we definitely beat them in every category today, so I'm not surprised that we won. So let me go ahead and jump in here as always and check out our stats here real quick before we go to next week. All right, so Garoppolo, 19-33, 260, one touchdown, one interception. McKinnon under over 100 yards with a touchdown again today. That's two straight weeks for him. Receiving, no one had really got close to 100 yards today. So, 
Next week is week 16. We're almost closing out the season. We'll see if we can pull a little closer to 500 as we progress with the 49ers. Okay, everybody, here we are for week 16. We're hosting the Bears in San Francisco, seeing if we can pull to 7 and 8 and maybe squeak into a playoff. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. It's the only way we have a chance is if we win this. So let's see what we can do here. They're already up by 7. They're up by 14 going into the going into halftime. We'll see if we can. Still a seven-point game. We have a chance. We really do. It's the third quarter. We're only down by four. We'll see if, ooh, now they're up by seven. Can we pull in? Oh, my God, we've tied it up in the fourth quarter. Can we do it? Can we pull this game off at the very end? Oh, at the very end, lost another game, 20 to 20 to 17 to, to fall to six and nine. So that's like four games that were lost in overtime or the very end of the fourth quarter. So we're creeping on, on a come up, but not quite where we need to be yet. So as you can see, we did hold up there for a second, but there just wasn't enough to come out on the top today. So now it's almost locked in that we've missed the playoffs. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, wrap everything up with week 17 here again next week and then see how everything goes. Yeah, as you can see, they pretty much had us in every category. So let me go ahead and jump in real quick as always so we can see how the players did today before we jump into the last week of the season. So Garoppolo here was 23 of 45. Uh, 200 yards, one passing touchdown, no interceptions. He didn't have a very good day at all. Rushing, McKinnon only had 76 yards today. Um, he's been hit or miss this year. And then, look, all the all the receivers, nobody had over 58 yards. So not a very productive day offensively. So we'll go ahead and see how things roll out running into Week 17. Okay, everybody, here we are in Week 17, seeing what's going to happen See, I mean, we're 6-9. and nine. We're definitely not going to make the playoffs. But we'll go ahead and see how we can finish the year out. Uh, we're in Los Angeles being hosted by the Rams, who are now running. We're tied up here cl and close to halftime. Oh, at halftime, they're up by 7. So running into the third quarter, we've closed the gap a little bit to 4, now to 1, and now they've jumped back up by 8. Oh, geez, and now they're up by, whoo, they just came out a swinging in the second half. And crushed all of our hopes and dreams. So it is 38 to 13 as a final. And we have fallen to 6 and 10 on the season. And I, I love how he's the player of the game, but it's blocked by the players, so you can't see what his stats were. So, all right, here you go 38 to 13. They scored 24 points in the fourth quarter. And we did not end this season on, on a high note, everybody. So, okay, this is going to be the last game of this year. Um, I'll go ahead and show the stats real quick. We just got demolished in this one. So let's go ahead and see how everybody fared. All right, so the 49ers. Oh, come on. All right, Garoppolo was 10 of 30, or 18 of 33, 201 touchdown, one interception. McKinnon had 74 yards on 19 carries and receiving. No one was even near 100 yards again. He has been spreading the ball around at least. So there is that. So, all right. That will be um, the, the end of this simulation for the 49ers season. The next video will be a season one in review, which will kind of go in, go over all their stats, uh, who won the Super Bowl, who who won the yearly awards, things like that. Then the fall to the following video will be the off season, um, where I'm gonna you know make trades, wheel and deal, and all of that sort of stuff. So, with that being said, that is all the time that we have for today's video. Please leave a comment in here. I know I kind of changed format partway through, but going forward, it will be the, the showing the simulations. Um, so I have something else to talk over as the games progress. Uh, please you know, share it, like it, subscribe to this. Um, we also have a podcast here at the crazy town with TNT dynamite and myself. Um, it's on iTunes. It's on SoundCloud. It's here in YouTube as well. Check it out. Let us know if you like it, but for Jonas for the season one simulation, I am out.